Guys, so jumping straight into the unboxing, here's how the new DJI FPV drone comes packaged. For anyone new to FPV drones or who are interested, FPV stands for first person view, which means you fly the drone by looking through goggles. And this is probably the best beginner FPV drone on the market with everything you need. And here is the first thing you'll see when opening up the box. Now, because this is an FPV drone, it comes with an epic set of goggles. And this is DJI's volume two of their goggles and I don't know about you guys, but they look pretty slick. Then next up, of course, what really counts is the FPV drone itself. As you can see, it does have quite a unique look and build compared to the other drones, but we'll get more into that a bit later. And then below that, once you remove this piece of foam are all the extra accessories and tools that come in the DJI FPV combo kit. So here's what the controller looks like. And you may notice that it's starting to look a bit more like a game controller these days. And I don't know, I actually quite like this. The antenna also easily flips up and down and overall this controller feels pretty solid. Then in the box you also get two sets of propellers. This is what they look like, nothing crazy or out of this world, just your standard propellers but I will say I like those red tips. Then in here are all your kind of batteries and power accessories. So first up is the AC power adapter and this is what you use to charge the FPV drone. And also in the box is this goggle battery. Now this doesn't actually get inserted into the goggles or anything like that. It's more like an external power bank that powers the goggles when using them. It also has a little battery indicator on it, which is pretty nifty. And then in this box is a fluorescent green top shell. I'll show you a bit more about this later, but essentially it helps you see your drone a lot easier when flying it. Then you also get the goggle headband and this is obviously attached to the goggles. And I must admit, I actually really like the feel of this. It's super easy to adjust and nothing overly complicated. You also then get the power cable, a USB-C data cable, the goggles charging cable, four of these goggle dual band antennas as well as these control joysticks you get four of these as well this USB-C OTG cable the manuals and quick start guide in a bunch of different languages and finally this super small allen key so these are all the tools and accessories you can expect to get when unboxing the DJI FPV drone also keep in mind the drone's battery is already in the drone Speaking of which, here is now a closer look at the FPV drone itself. For some reason, it reminds me of a grasshopper. I don't know why, but to unclip the battery, you simply pull up that little handle, squeeze the sides, and like that, the battery is removed from the main part of the drone. The battery is only 2000 milliamp hours, which will get you roughly 20 minutes of flight time. Obviously, that is not a lot of flight time at all, unfortunately. So if you do fly a lot, you may want to look at getting another extra battery. However, what is cool is you can film up to 4K at 60 frames per second with this bad boy. To attach the propellers, it's super easy. You simply place it on top, then push down and rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise, depending on which propeller is going where. You'll also easily be able to know where they go just by the little red circle in the center. Then this is that fluorescent green top shell I showed you earlier and is essentially a second skin. So you can take off the see-through one and put on that Lumo green one so that it's much easier to see your drone when far away. This drone is also quite heavy and comes in at just under 800 grams, so bear that in mind. And here's also just a look at the size comparison compared to the Mavic Air 2. Now, the goggles are quite interesting and as you can see, have a super unique look to them, but obviously play a very important part when it comes to flying this drone. I will say they feel super comfortable, but are a little bit heavy. They weigh in at just over 400 grams, so you can feel that weight on your face when wearing them. Then here are just the little toggles you can use to adjust the lenses. Then the goggle antennas do need to be screwed onto the pair of goggles, of course, and there are four of these that need to be screwed on. So this is just something to keep in mind, especially when you want to try and quickly get a shot. You do have a little bit of setup time unless you keep them on the goggles permanently. Then this is the goggle headband and it is super simple to attach. I love that it's nothing crazy. You basically just feed those bands through the slots and attach the Velcro at your desired length. And once you've done all of that, you can then go ahead and pop it on your head, adjust them and try to get the most comfortable fit. You do need to make sure the goggles are powered when using them. So that is where the goggle power cable comes in. You just plug it in right over there by that little slot. And then you go ahead and grab that other goggle charging battery and plug the USB-C side into the goggle battery. And that is literally it. The battery is only 1,800 milliamp hours, but that should be more than enough time to fly your drone. And the goggle screen resolution is 1440p, which is more than enough quality for flying your drone. Then onto the remote controller. And as mentioned, it does have more of a game 
gaming controller feel. It's super comfortable in the hand. And as you can see, there are extra slots in the handles to tuck your joysticks away. The antenna also flips up easily. Once fully charged, the controller will give you about nine hours of battery life. And thanks to that antenna, the range on this bad boy is up to 10 kilometers. If however, you wanna take things to the next level though, you can check out this motion controller, which will give your drone flying a whole nother feel. And honestly, I am so excited to use this accessory and really see what you can do with this. As you can see, it has an acceleration trigger as well as some tilt toggles and a bunch of other controls. Here's also where you charge it. And do keep in mind, this is an additional accessory that you will have to buy extra if you wanna check it out and doesn't come in the FPV combo kit. So I think I'm definitely ready to take this bad boy out and give it a spin, but make sure you drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna be showing you a lot more of this beautiful brand new DJI FPV drone. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Toodles!